Here's one style, and here's another. Okay, for the first one, which is probably my favorite, you'll just go to the point in your song or your video that you want to start the effect at. It all depends on your beat and how you want to cut it and make it go. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to do it with no music. I'm going to go about right here. And then I'll go in about two frames. Again, it all depends on your song. Go in another two frames. I'll do this five times until I create five individual clips of two frames each. Go ahead and zoom in to see it clearly. And you'll click on your first clip, go to edit, and you'll go down to size. But I do it to where when I turn it at an angle, I can do it without there being any black spots in the corners. So I'm going to set mine at about 125.7 and go back. Skip the next one, go to your third one. I make it about the same size as my last one. But then I turn it to the other direction so it'll give that shake effect. Again, make sure there's no black spots in the corners. Um, and there's several different ways you can do this. Color effects you can add, all that. Um, that's what you got so far. Then skip the next one and go to your last of the five clips. And for this one, I normally just make it bigger. I make it about the same size, if not a little bit bigger than all the other ones. And I just keep it straight so it kind of stops abruptly. Then I'll make sure that the playhead is at the beginning, I add a keyframe, then I'll go to the very end, and I will adjust either the X or the Y. I'm gonna go with the Y on this one, make it a little bit bigger. I'll do 129.4, uh, 131.3. So you've got that. Then I'll go to the very next one, which will be the second one. And I will go to the beginning, add a keyframe, and I will start at the size that I ended with on my last clip. So I'll go with the Y again, do 131.3. Then I'll go to the end and hit this button, which will basically center it again. So we got that. Then I'll skip the middle one and go to the fourth clip. Actually, to make it easier, you can just go to your first clip, first clip, hit copy. Go down to your fourth clip, hit clip again. Clear all of these icons except for the one you want to paste over. Hit paste. And go to your second clip, copy it. Go to your fifth clip, clip the icons, paste, and there you go. Hey, I want to thank everybody that's been hitting the like button and leaving comments and everything. If there's anything you want to see me do a video on, let me know. Also hit me up on Instagram, man. I love connecting.